Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra, that generation right here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you have one of those, you have a problem where you have no sound coming from the radio or the speakers. We will explain what can easily cause that, how to fix it, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that uh, way you do not waste your money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stand until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located what we have to do just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so we're going to demonstrate on that generation GMC Sierra what can cause no sound from the radio guys from the speakers let's go ahead and explain that now uh, it could be multiple things but first you need to check two main fuses for the sound system and the sound amplifier where they're hidden under the hood open the hood look on the driver's side under that cover here if you remove it guys you'll find the engine fuse box with a layout that will look like this one right here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys if you have no sound coming from the system what you will need to check specifically two fuses oh and by the way if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time we'll put a link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money we'll come in that lower section here let me zoom in the fuse that we need to check at first is fuse number 42 that's the main radio fuse and then you need to check fuse number 41 right here guys that's the sound amplifier fuse if that fuse is blown definitely no sound situation will occur guys other things that can cause no sound could be pet sound amplifier disconnected wiring harness from the back of the radio or from the sound amplifier guys those are some of the most common things we see at the garage sometimes pull these fuses and let the system reset for a minute push them back in see if that fixes the problem hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time